Hey guys, thank you for tuning back into my channel. My name is Vail Dog, and this is my kitchen where I'll be teaching you how to make affordable restaurant quality foods or better from my home to yours. Guys, let's get cooking. Okay guys, today on the chopping block, I'm going to be making you guys an extra crispy air fried chicken with Belgian waffles and maple syrup. And I'm doing them air fried chicken and my Ninja air fryer. Alright, so these are the ingredients that you're going to be needing. You're going to need some Belgian waffle mix right here, a crusty. You're going to need, I just start with this first, that you're going to need three cups of that. This is three cups of that. You're going to need two eggs. You're going to need a third cup of butter that I have to melt. You're going to need a tablespoon not a tablespoon, a teaspoon of vanilla extract by Watkins. Okay, that's what I use. This is a tablespoon of sugar. Here's a teaspoon of cinnamon. That's what you're going to need for that. Also, I have some toppings right here. Some fruit toppings. Put some strawberries and all that stuff. Alright, this is just fruit toppings. Here's some maple syrup. And here's some... Um, some extra cream right here. This is some butter, if I can spray on there. This is a waffle maker right here. And here's some whipped butter right here. And I'm gonna show you guys another recipe with this whipped butter. Not today, but I'm gonna show you another day, okay? All right, so that's for that. Now, here's my chicken, my half chicken right here. Now, you don't see no seasoning out here, right? Because this is what I'm using right here. Kentucky Colonel, right here. This is off the chain. So when you don't want to use a bunch of seasoning, buy this right here. It have all the seasoning that you want in there. It don't have um, no MSG or all that extra stuff. <clears throat> it's a good brand. So... This is, yeah, no MSG, no sugar added, none of that stuff. No preservative, no artificial uh, color or flavor on it, right here. So look on there and it'll tell you about all that. This is the Kentucky Colonel. Trust me, if I use it, you're going to want to use it. Trust me, it's good. And I put it in this bag, all right? So that's what we need for the chicken, followed by some... Misto, I know y'all got <laughs> gonna talk about me on this one, but uh, I know how to use it. It's just uh, you just got to pump, okay? But if you got a spray bottle or something like that, use that. All right. So guys, you gonna also need a waffle maker, okay? I think this one turned up differently. So yeah, you gonna need a waffle maker, okay? All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump right into it in a minute. Okay, guys, we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna start with the um, uh, the batter first. For the Belgian waffles. Okay, you need a cup and a third of water. Like so, okay. You're gonna need your butter. I'm gonna mix this up first. I'm gonna put my sugar in there. That's optional. The cinnamon is optional. Then I'm going to put my butter in there. This a oil. I like to use the Crisco butter because it adds more flavor to it. So I'm going to mix this up, guys. Just like that. I'm going to take my two eggs that I forgot to mention and put that in there. I'm making uh, four to five. That's what this uh, calls for. Drop a piece of shell. That's okay. We can get out. We're just gonna mix this up, guys. Break them eggs up. Now at this point right here, if you wanted to add fruits to this, you can. It's not a big deal. I mean, I could if I wanted to, but I got fruits that I'm gonna put on top of it. All right. Now, last but not least, here's the. Uh, the uh, Watkins. 
vanilla. Okay, let me get this out the way. And we just gonna stir that in there. And that's it. Alright. Now I did say that I'm gonna show you guys how to do this from scratch one day, and I will. Because it's it's a little bit more complex than just what I'm doing right here. Cause you got to do something with the eggs. You got to do like the whites. You got to get them like uh, beat it up real good or whatever, stiffen and all that stuff, and fold it in the mix and all that stuff. All right. There you go. So we're gonna put this in the refrigerator. Wrap this up and put it in the refrigerator while it's chilling, and we're gonna get started on that chicken. All right. See you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, here's the chicken. It is nothing to it. All we're going to do is simply take this half of chicken, put this bad boy up in here, put him up in there. Simple, easy, does it. Shake him up in there. Now, what I like, to, like I told you before, I like to leave my chicken in there for it to be well coated. So I'm going to take this other one and put him in there also. So you can like marinate in that uh, flour. And we want him well covered before we spread him down with some oil. And that noise in the background you hear is the um, Ninja Air Fryer warming up. Yeah, that's my Ninja Air Fryer warming up. Take this. And right before we uh, spray this, we're going to shake it again. So I like to kind of let this sit in there for about a good 15 minutes so it can get a nice little coating on it. most of the flour be on the, on the bread side. Let them sit. Don't mess with it. Just let it sit. And uh, I'll show you what we'll be doing next. In a minute. Okay guys, I am back. Put this up a little bit more. Set for about good 10 minutes. Get this thing up. nice and hot. So what I like to do is, because we got the spread, right? So you take one of them out at a time. So if you can knock some of the debris off. You're going to make a little mess. Don't worry about it. You can clean it up <laughs> later. <laughs> so shake some of that off. I'll take this um, mist though. Matter of fact, I'm going to take both out. See if I can squeeze both of these bad boys in that Ninja Air Fryer. I'm hoping. I'm going to squeeze them tight. Okay. So do the back side first. Put that over there. Pump this up. squeeze him in there. Uh, let's see how we do that one. Go this way with him. He's gonna shrink up a little bit, so don't worry about all the extra. Okay. Now I'm gonna bring this over here if I can show you guys what I'm talking about. 
All right, I'm gonna pump this again. We need to coat that side. I think that's good enough. All right, that's what we got. All right, well, we're gonna put that in there about 20 minutes and let it cook and cook and cook and cook to get done. <laughs> uh, my granddaughter used to say that. All right, let me wipe some of this debris off of here. And I see you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm over here. There's the chicken in there. Just gonna put it in there. All right, let's see, we're on our temperature on 350. 20 minutes, then push start. All right, see you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, at this point, all I did was just flip them over. You gotta be careful when you flip because you will rip, rip some of that crust off. So I'm just putting a little bit more oil on this. And let it cook. That was 10 minutes and let it cook. Alright, in a minute. Okay guys, I'm back. Cooked that for about 15 minutes on that side. I'm gonna just turn these bad boys over. If I can get a hold to it. Uh, let's go with a fork. <laughs> this thing keeps sliding, so. Go with a fork. Where I can grab it. Like that. Pour a little bit more of this oil on it. You'll see some of my crust fell off. Just a little bit of oil, not a whole lot. I'm gonna see if I can sprinkle some more of that oil on that. I mean, I said oil. Some more of that flour on there. On this little spot that doesn't want to act right. Hopefully that a stick. Uh, that should be enough, right? I want some crust on mass. The back side turned out lovely. Should've did the front side, but it was cooking too fast on my wings. And I didn't like that, so that's why I did that. All right, we're gonna put this in there for about a good 10 minutes. See what we get. That's in 12 minutes. All right, see you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm gonna go ahead and check on this chicken. See what we got here. Pause that for a second. Right there. Can you hear it? Mm, okay. Let me see. I think I'm gonna let it cook just a little bit longer. I think it's ready, but I want to cook just a little bit longer. Try to flip this side a little bit here. Alright. 
in a minute. We set up for them waffles. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm just letting this um, waffle iron heat up. I got my mix out the fridge. I'm going to use this half a uh, cup to pour it on there. Okay, see how thick that ain't gotten since you put it in the refrigerator? That's why I put it in the refrigerator. All right, when I get done, I'll show you what we'll be doing in a minute. Okay, guys, ready? I just sprayed some of this butter stuff on it. And take our stuff, put it in the middle. I think it's normally hold like two cups. I mean one cup. I say two cups. <laughs> if it'd be two cups, it'd be all over. So you just want to scoot it around a little bit, guys. Then you close this down like that. And you flip it just like this. For this particular one. We're just gonna let that cook. I'll be back. Something you see when that green light come on, it says it's done. Okay, but I let mine cook a little longer. Okay, see it ain't really hard hard like I want it. So I let mine cook a little bit longer. So that you know, in a minute. Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and turn this. See where we at with it. Okay, yeah it looks decent enough. Alright, so we just go ahead and get this out. Do another one. See when you don't put all that oil in it, it'll be crispy. So that's it. one cup. I mean, whip. that's what we're gonna put in there, all right? Let's we'll see what it's doing. Like right that. Close this down real quick and flip it. Okay. All right, I'm going to finish these up and I'll show you guys what we'll be doing next in a minute. Okay, guys, there it is. Air fried chicken, Belgian waffles with maple syrup. I hope you guys enjoy this because um, I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to mess with you. Put a little whipped cream on it and I put some butter in the middle. And it's delicious. And I made a few other waffles up. This. And here's the other ones. Right here. So, guys, please give me a like, a share, and subscribe to this channel. Where I'll be teaching you how to make affordable restaurant quality food or better. And please, guys, please, hit that bell. Please hit that bell for me. So I can know who you are. So you too can be notified every time I upload another delicious recipe. And I'll see you guys next time in Veldon's Kitchen. I'm out.